The views expressed in the following program do not necessarily represent the views of this station or its management. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life, Wichita, Kansas. America! America. Wow! Where are we at today? Right? I'm lost. I we woke are, up in Duda. I know. We woke up in Duda. How awesome is that? We are at Duda <laughs> Diner. I, I thought it looked like that, yeah. I mean, this is like, a, it's it's kind of a new, it's cool. but it's a tradition. Yes. What do you say? Yes, it is. You know, I mean, I... Fine dining. Oh, man, I'll tell you the funniest thing. This is my third Duda t-shirt. Oh, yeah? Okay, yep, yep. Uh, my Duda Diner t-shirts have actually made it to Cancun. They've made them several times to Colorado. Uh, Have you taken pictures with them so you can send them uh, back yeah, here and so yeah, they can say, hey, oh, yeah. look, there's oh, a yeah. doodad oh, yeah. there. Okay, making sure. Of me on the airplane going here. I don't see any on the walls. I <laughs> well, there's no pictures of me. I mean, you know, but I do know some of those people up there. Yeah. I do. But this is kind of the coolest place. I remember when you guys, when, the, when we're going to have the owners on here in just a minute when they first opened, and I was like, this is going to be so sweet, man. You know, and I have had more compliments on this shirt from other st- other areas. You know, people are like, how awesome is that? And I'm like, man, if you go to Wichita, I don't care if you're just flying in, driving in, you know, you know, yeah. biking in, walking in, whatever the case may be, you know, big motorcycle shows coming yeah. up, you know. Yeah, you've got to come here. You've got to come here. What's your favorite dish? People always say, what's your favorite? Well, first of all, if it's lunchtime, I mean, it's got to be the meatloaf. I don't know. It's tough. It is very tough. God, I don't know. Wait a minute. Because there is nothing. But where's the menu? I haven't. Let me see a menu. I didn't say a lot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Crab cake Benedict. Um, hello. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, and the Tanya's Benny. Oh, that's a good one. It, oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, You just have no idea. And, oh, thank you. Thank you for another menu. Thank you, Fine Side. Okay, so everybody, everybody can just grab this. a menu here. Large and, uh, oh, man, I'm telling you. So we're going to have the owners on with us here in a little bit. But uh, we're going to talk about a lot of the different things that they do here. In fact, also the fact that they do catering. And get a couple of pictures of the place here so that you guys can get a feel for the vibe. Okay, Cause because that's what really stands out when your hair is this vibe that I know. this place kind of has. Like, Isn't it cool? It's yeah. very unique, and it's kind of like a, it's a, it's real welcoming. Here. It is very. I mean, I've, I've come here in the dead of summer when it's like 100 degrees. You know, I'm getting off the back of a friend's, you know, Harley. I'll come in here and throw my baseball hat on. Totally Do they serve on. alcohol? No. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, <laughs> dang it, dang it, dang it. Um, no, but I mean, you, you can come in, you know. But you can bring your own in the car. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can come in on Sunday, you know, like yeah. right after church in your Sunday church. Yeah. You know, you can come in during the work week, the you know, when your business closed. Or you can come in and ride off the back yeah. of a Harley off. Sweat. Yeah, sweat in. Yeah, it, they do not discriminate. They're closed, on Monday, and They're closed on Monday and Tuesday. That is true. They are closed on Monday and Tuesdays, but Wednesday through Sunday, definitely. Okay, and then they What are the hours here? Uh, I well, think it's 7 a.m. Like 7 a.m. So it's like every meal of the day is served here? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner? On, um, no, not dinner. Saturday and Sunday they open at 8. No dinner? Close at 2. I was looking at the... Every must have changed. I looked at... I, I saw it on the, somewhere, and, and on the door. And you have to understand, though, and I'll let, I'll let the owners tell you more about it, but everything is made from scratch here, yeah. you guys. Wow. And I mean, some of the most amazing uh, homemade and, and, and people... I laugh sometimes because people try to copy their dishes on Facebook. So today I was at Doodah Diner and I had the da 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 I'm going to try to make this tonight. And then I can't wait to get back with them later and go, so how'd it go? You know, yeah. well, you don't can't see them posting this. about how no, great it went, so. I have yet to find that, you know. I've never said, I've, you know, I mean. Success! No. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, and the bread pudding. Okay, pudding. Bread yeah. pudding. Oh, my God. I know, right? No, I haven't eaten here, but I think if I came, I would have the crab cake Benedict. Yes, oh, you saw that right there. That sounds, that. That sounds that. Okay. insane. Guys, what would your start. favorite be? Seth, well, favorite. I think the only fair way to judge this is just to go down the list and just try everything. Oh my god, I just oh, got love. Hold on. It's a good one. What's the mafia? For, for Rody, because Rody's never eaten here before. That's right, so he'd so have to do it. It's research. Yeah. You guys, it almost, <laughs> okay. it almost sounds like me. The mafalata. 
Mufasa Lata. <laughs> you should just change it slightly and call it the Mufasa Lata. No. <laughs> I'm sure they would love it. It's to a do little that. tangy, it's a little spicy. It's, it's an little, Italian dish. Little sweet. <laughs> <laughs> little tangy, little tart. Look, it is. It's an Italian <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Oh god! All right, okay, definitely. I know what I want. Spanish salad. I love that. You know, they're just. I mean, I bring my daughter, my granddaughter here, and my. There's a picture of me, my daughter, my granddaughter. My granddaughter's like, yeah. You know? Yeah, she was very, very happy with with her lunch that day. But anything and everything. I mean, if you have family coming in from out of town, you know, this is like the coolest thing to do. Bring him here. Yeah. Yeah. Do not die here. Okay, so we know where it is, but where is it? You know, and, and, and that's the funniest thing. You can't miss Dudal Diner. I tell people that all the time. You know, Kellogg, okay, US 54 Highway is our number one, well, basically, number one yeah. east yeah. west, okay, highway. And so if you exit either from eastbound or westbound onto the downtown yeah, exits, area, sure. okay, um, it's basically just west of Broadway. Okay, there's a car dealership right on the corner of, uh, and it's Kellogg Drive. It's not the o- overpass no, where Kellogg Street. is. Kellogg Street. Okay, Kellogg yeah. Street. Um, but it's not the, the raised highway, so you're going to want to get off the raised highway. But it does face that, so if you're yeah. confused, that's where it's at. Yeah. Let's just say you get off on the downtown business district yeah. exit uh-huh. mm-hmm. from either way. I will, I, I, well, I don't know if you can do a U turn on Broadway or not. Can you? We're at market. In market. Kellogg. Yeah. So we can't get right in that market, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, I always come off of Broadway, so, you know. There you go. Um, either way, you can't get here. There's no excuse. You, from the east or the west, you can get here. Or the north or the south, quite frankly. So, but you have to. I think the coolest thing, too, is I think it was even Thanksgiving, possibly Christmas, and we'll let, of course, the owners tell us. But if you have holidays where they're obviously not going to be open, you know, they're going to prepare certain of their signature dishes and you can pick them up and have them uh, for your family for these special holidays. So when the, you know, when the, wow. that one aunt or uncle, or I think we all have one of those, you know, that shows up and, you know, and you can be like, ah, ah beat ya. You okay. know? <laughs> so yeah, because they'll never do better than this. Okay? Never, 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 never. And I think the cool thing too is they do a lot of stuff to give back to the community. And souvenirs, the shirts, my lovely mugs. mugs, you know, and and I'll anybody that does that does not need their reading glasses can read the back of the sh- the back of the that means mug. not me, <laughs> which means it's also the sign behind me, right up yeah. here. Okay, do da. Okay, another nickname for Wichita, Kansas, origins unknown, but perhaps it references the laid back, whimsical attitude felt by some visitors to the city of Wichita. Okay? Perfectly well stated. Love it. Do Dog Diner. Um, I can't say enough. Sorry, sorry. Have you been here yet? No, I have not. Um, in fact, it's really funny because when you told us we were going to do the show last week on yeah. Sunday, we were going to the west side of town and we're driving by and I said something to, to my boyfriend and he said, I just saw them when we drove by last week. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, okay, I had heard too. of them, but I, we've never been here yet. Oh, you got to go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you. Yeah. You know, yeah. everybody tells me about this place, so it's yeah. shocking that you haven't been here. You haven't? I have. Oh, you haven't. Oh, yeah. Have you? No. no. I have. Our old friend Joey Stone talked about it every week. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Every, every, I think there's a booth with Joey's name on it Broadway, somewhere. Yeah. Is he yeah. in one of these pictures on the walls? No, but I see more Shocking. Rain, shocking. I, is that Rudy? Oh, and I, I, I see Michael. From Donut Hole, uh huh, and I see Maureen. Mm-hmm. Well, Maureen. Was here this weekend. Was she just here this weekend? Uh, I I know she's in town. Uh, I actually had the person who killed Tanya. Oh God! Oh. oh, and so you clipped it out. You know what? That's awesome. You know, wow. you know, he was on the show. Yeah, we boy. actually invited him on as an artist. Oh, let's move on. Yeah, let's, let's move do. on. <laughs> yes, let's do. Yeah, That's which does stay over here. Things. And I love the picture of, oh, look at the owners. They're such a cute They're so couple cute. Too. You're going to see them here in just a minute. They're like the most adorable couple here in Wichita. They yeah, really are. Yeah. I think that that's what we should do since somebody canceled the, uh, what they cancel? The um, Cards for the Cure. Cards for the Cure. Well, I think we need to have Wichita's cutest couples. 
and raise some money that oh way. And if you want to see what you we're know, talking yeah. about, to see the pictures up in the wall, you're going to have to come in here. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll Because we're not going to show we're them to you. Because it's a surprise. The oh. of this. Well, we might. We might yeah. show you a couple. You know. A teaser. A teaser. No, we're not, because they have to come in here to see them. Oh, I know, right? Well, and even the, um, uh, the autographed uh, WSU shirts might be a good reason to pop by, too. Yeah. But, yeah. but since that one bit. Big... They have autographed WSU shirts for sale but here? No, you can't no, have that. No, no, no. Those are frames. Oh, they're not for sale? You can look at it. Quit advertising them out here. We're going to get sued. <laughs> Last time we did this. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> not so good. Yeah, we're going to take a picture of anyway. <laughs> but, um, but no, seriously, I mean, that was a big fundraiser that they canceled. Yeah, that was yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking which stalls cute as couples. You know what? I, you know, I, I, I have a friend nominate. that's running for LLS, and we need some events. That might be something fun to do to raise Wouldn't some money. Wouldn't that be fun? Why don't you guys put a poker tournament on? Stay away from gambling. Yeah, we stay should from, probably stay away from, stay away from that because yeah, they shut from it anything down. Anything political, anything <laughs> gambling related, um, and, and make sure you watch your attire while you're in Topeka. Oh yes, oh, yeah. you know we've already had this conversation because Short you know. And cut. Only, right? Solving the world. I cannot problem. wait till somebody actually that guy shows up there dressed as drag, and I hope it's a really risque costume or outfit. <laughs> we already talked about this earlier. There are uh, a few folks that are going to dress and drag and go to Topeka because that one guy got all mouthy and said that he wouldn't let people show up with short skirts or women. He said not, women. Yeah, not people. Women. 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 He said women. Yeah. yeah. Because he's yes. so frightened, I guess, right? Yeah, I guess so. I guess he can't concentrate when there's, you know... Yeah, and, and, you know. and once again, that's a lack of self-control, yeah, so... That's his problem. <laughs> that's his problem. However, I do have to say that I, I agree with the owner's um, philosophy here. No politics allowed yes. or discussion. Okay. I love right that. On. Love it, love it, love it. We'll be back with who I'm going to vote for as Wichita's cutest couple. Real people, real life. We'll be right back. <laughs> Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Hi, this is Samantha with Wichita's all-new Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. This tax refund season, forget the stress, forget the gimmicks. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. Make it easy on yourself and check us out. We have a great selection of vehicles to choose from. Come see us today at Easy Pay, Wichita's all-new Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway, where we make it easy. Find us on the web at easypaywichita.com and on Facebook. Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2envyme.com. You deserve to feel fantastic. Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday. Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. The King. Credit King Auto Sales. The biggest buy here, pay here in Kansas. At the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. The King knows you worked hard for your tax refund. The King will give you more for it. The King of buy here, pay here. The King of low down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no problems with the King. The King does it better than all the rest. Check us out at GoCreditKing.com. Credit King Auto Sales. 31st Street South and Broadway. Once again, Real People Real Life from right here in 
do da da do da da Kansas Do-da. America America and who I I think that we're going to start a new fundraiser with which is all the cutest couples <laughs> starting with Tamari and Patrick hi yeah. guys hello hi. you are the owners of this place we are as you look around <laughs> you're going oh my this is all yours. No, it's, it's all both of y'all have worked like crazy. Us and our team. Yeah, you got a great team. We too. have an amazing team. But how many years have you been here now? It was three years in September, so we opened September of 2012. Gosh, well, I know. Than that. It seems like 30 years. Ago. I was going to say. <laughs> so when you guys first opened, that other half wasn't here. Didn't right. You? It was um, it was vacant. Mm-hmm. This building was built in 1969 as this side was Radio Shack and that side was Tandy Leather. Right. Mm-hmm. So then um, mm-hmm. in the course of once we moved in and got open, that then became a nonprofit uh, medical loan closet for a while. I'm okay. friends with our landlord. Uh-huh. And then when it became obvious that we were going to bust out of this space, yeah, um, they made it very enticing for us to take over the whole building kind of a so, smart move on their part it was plus i mean there'd have been no parking for anybody else who'd have gone i know there, i know unless That's it was thing. an evening centered type yeah, business right. so when what, what, what was the inspiration patrick really needed a job <laughs> <laughs> that's good okay the last <laughs> name here surely yes was that any any Shibley with a uh, hey, Shibley? Yeah, Camille's. Camille's. That's Patrick's dad. Okay. Was. Yeah. I used to go there a lot myself. Right. Okay. And then, do you have a brother? I do. And uh, did he have like a little newspaper or he something? Did. The note. Musical the note. newspaper. He was like a musical dude. Yes. Jeff Shibley. Jeff. He lives it's in his older brother. Right now. Oh, is that where he ended yeah. up? Well, imagine that that party dude. His him. whole dream was in life was to be a skiba. So, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's He's funny. accomplished that. I was yeah. going to say, right He's on. He's been dude. up there for at least 10, 12 years now. Where? More in Breckenridge. Oh. Patrick's brother. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, so I remember your brother then. I remember your dad. So was that part of why you got into this? Did you probably work there for your dad? Or um, Yeah. I mean, I grew up in the business. So yeah. you know, they say it's in your blood. But... Uh, it wasn't in any of my other family members' blood. Just mine. <laughs> just yours. And you're like, oh, I have to do this. I really loved it. Um, yeah. I can remember when I was six, pushing a bus cart. Wow. Um, busing tables at his restaurant. And I can also remember when I was like nine years old, sitting at the piano bar. Wow. Um, and I don't know if anybody remembers Keith Smith, but um, he always used to play at my dad's restaurant. And it'd be like 10 o'clock, you know, on a school night. And I'd be sitting there jamming out with Keith Smith and all the drunks sitting at the bar. And I'm like, oh, this is a great life. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the life. You know? I mean, come on. Was, I mean, they, now if you did that, you would be sent oh, to be, social oh, services yeah, yeah. as a parent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 those lovely people. But I turned out okay. Yeah, I, I wish and, I saw uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is probably why we went on to have a breakfast lunch and not anything to do with evening time. Yeah, I can't or, say as I blame you. It's changed a lot. It has. But yeah. it also, this concept allows us to have a life, which is True. something that is uh, very rare in restaurant It is. Ownership. You mm-hmm. know, I don't think a lot of people understand when you say that, you know, you're open for breakfast and lunch. I think people are like, what? Why not dinner? Why not That dinner? may be okay, why I haven't eaten here already, that? though, honestly. Yeah. A, lot. a lot. Oh, a lot. Absolutely. And, you know, every day... Um, when we open, I get here right around two two thirty a.m. a.m. Yes. And, and this- people say, "What? What? That makes no sense." And everything is made from scratch every day. Wow. That's all the breads, all the sauces, everything. Egg noodles, biscuits, and, hoagies, and so when you say that, you know buns. it's it's busy oh, for a reason a because yeah. we're doing it from scratch every day. Right. But it takes a long time to do. A lot of oh, work lot goes of into it. Mm-hmm. A lot of restaurants don't do that because of the of all the time and that it takes but and the all the knowledge. Is night and day. But the difference is night and day. You can you taste the difference. You go somewhere out and you go out to eat. You know, and, and and I'm really sorry to some of you other restaurant owners here in Wichita, but I got to tell you the difference is night and day. 
I can tell homemade and made mm-hmm. from scratch. I can go somewhere else, and it, it and unfortunately, I'm so used to eating either homemade, mm-hmm. gluten free. I mean, I got it. There's just certain limits I have to have, right? You know, and you and I talk about that on natural healing arts and different things like that. Man, I can go to some of these places and think that I'm ordering something completely healthy, mm-hmm. and I literally am sick to my stomach for a while. Oh, it's not okay. me. Hey, we keep it real. It's not it one of us. It wasn't me. Oh, my God. Yay. It's not one of us this time. Oh, it's your mom. mom. <laughs> it's an always, it's my always mom. my mom. Have you seen that commercial? Where I know. <laughs> yeah. Mom, can I call you back? That's crazy, right? Yeah. Hey, hey, like, mom, what's all that class? noise in the back? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the inspiration really was... You grew up doing this, and you needed a job. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I was in between jobs at the time. Okay. And You're still in between them, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, did not realize at my age that, you know, in my past salary history and everything mm-hmm. blended together, I'm not as desirable uh, manager, cook, chef at this age. All right. <laughs> Because 50. you have to pay a lot of money for someone like me, mm-hmm. and it's a lot easier to pay <laughs> a, kid. a kid that's going to work for 80 hours a week, who doesn't care, he's just trying to better himself and his mm-hmm. career. Great, great, awesome. Yeah. You know, but I needed something to do. Right. So I was like, hey, I guess I'm going to have to get okay, a restaurant. This, this I did. Um, <laughs> it was for sale on Craigslist, and I came in from watering the tomatoes, and Patrick goes... Honey, there's a restaurant for sale in downtown. Let's go look at it. Was it already called Doodah? No. no. It was the um, Jade Garden Cafe. Yeah. It was a little Chinese restaurant. Who came up with the name? Yeah, I was going to say, who picked out Doodah? Okay, so... <laughs> Let's hear um, this story. <laughs> collectively, we did, because Patrick and I both grew up in Wichita. And for and we know this isn't a citywide over all generation that debate has been discussed Uh-oh. many times in this building. That's Not true. everybody called Duda or yeah. called Wichita Duda as a nickname. Mm-hmm. However, the owners of this restaurant grew up calling this town Duda, uh-huh. so that's why we call it Duda. You're kidding me. People argue that. I've always known this no, as no, Duda. Absolutely. I used, work, I used to work at a local rock and roll station years ago. Um, late eight. Duda in the morning. Is that what you're talking about? Late 80s. But anyway, um, this was was a kind of controversial situation there. It was. Back in the 80s and even into the early 90s, um, it was rather controversial. And and a lot of us were like, hey, you know, it's a doodah. You know, we just adored it and and adopted it, if you will. But there was a few folks that were like, Well, we consider it a loving term for us. I mean, I grew up, when I left Wichita after graduating high school, and whether I was at K-State or in Kansas City, it was always... Are you going home to do da mm-hmm. for the weekend? Mm-hmm. And if I was, to me that meant, what am I going to have my mom cook yep. when I get home? Right. What friends am I going to hook up with yep. that I grew up with yep. and got in trouble with? Yep, yep, yep. And then how much laundry can I get away with bringing her? But <laughs> right. So, I mean, to us then to name it Duda Diner, we threw it out to some friends. And being in the mindful that we're in the downtown community and that right. we would want to draw business from downtown. Um, we really got advised that it wouldn't be an advisable name, that it was a derogatory and really? uh, what? not to, very yeah. professional. So we went back out and tried to figure out another name, you know, 54 Diner. We, uh, so we were with a group of friends and collectively all trying to throw out names. And then because I had dismissed Duda Diner, we didn't bring it up for a while. And then I threw it out there, and the entire table just screamed, yes, that's it. Yay, I wanted to be at that party. <laughs> so, and they were all hometown kids. Yeah, and yeah. So, I mean, we've really taken it from being a slam and a put-down to being fun and whimsical yeah. and it being a place we have community tables. So a lot of times if you want to eat and get seated sooner you're going to embrace the community spirit and make friends with your neighbors and That's forget about right. elbow room right so we kind of force we don't have tvs in here um this is really supposed to be a happy escape with good food like your mom used to make Very and you can literally good. come in in your pajamas or like you said you, you, know, can. you can come in yeah. yeah oh absolutely you know what we're gonna i really going. like this place <laughs> But you have a party of the day. You just can't talk politics. Oh, you have nothing to worry about with yeah. me. We, yeah, we don't want to go there anyway. So, so 
I can just remember opening and then within just a short amount of time, you guys in a short amount of time just took off. Oh, that's oh all God. everybody I mean, talked it about. It was packed. It was packed. But you know, it's all, it was word of mouth because we couldn't mm-hmm. afford to advertise. Mm-hmm. So we even still get locals really? who come in, I mean, every day and say, why have we not heard about mm-hmm. this? And it's like, well, we don't, ad- we haven't advertised yeah. But it's really a reflection of the people you hang out with I because know, right? it's all been <laughs> word of mouth and social media. Yeah. Well, you know, so. uh, yeah, uh, okay. And I was just going to reminisce <laughs> about some old times here. But anyway, yeah, I would have to agree with that. Yeah, because the more I think about it, I have never seen anything in print. Mm-hmm. I have only heard about you from one person and another person and another person. So. Well, a lot of people put the, the dishes up on Facebook, too. And, oh, I just had to do that. Yeah, they we do, do see quite well, a bit do. of that. They do. Yeah, yeah. And then, but the ones that always crack me up is, I'm going to so go home and make this tonight. Then you check on them the next day, and you just really want to go, so how'd that work? And you know it didn't work. Nobody can, <laughs> well, nobody I, can Facebook close. definitely was a big, um, I, I won't lie, it probably had the biggest impact in building our business. But now Facebook has made things so difficult. I know. But what we do is my commitment is every day we do a different special. Yeah, I And know. so that's the one place every day that... 90% of the time, I have a picture of it. So if you're thinking, what is Duda having for lunch today? That chicken pot pie is going to be pictured mm. and then with a description by about That's 10 or 11 o'clock starting. every day. I love it. I love so. it. Well, we're going to be right back with more from the Duda Diner. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Hi, this is Samantha with Wichita's all-new Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. This tax refund season, forget the stress, forget the gimmicks. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. Make it easy on yourself and check us out. We have a great selection of vehicles to choose from. Come see us today at Easy Pay, Wichita's all-new Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway, where we make it easy. Find us on the web at easypaywichita.com and on Facebook. Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2envyme.com. You deserve to feel fantastic. Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday. Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. The King. Credit King Auto Sales. The biggest buy here, pay here in Kansas. At the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. The King knows you worked hard for your tax refund. The King will give you more for it. The King of buy here, pay here. The King of load down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no problems with the King. The King does it better than all the rest. Check us out at GoCreditKing.com. Credit King Auto Sales. 31st Street South and Broadway. Can I get you some more coffee? Thank you. Yes, please, sir. <laughs> no, I don't really want any. Coffee? Anyone? No, we're good. good. Thank you. I don't want to have to. Yes, yes, because see, we're here and it's Monday. Do you want and a job? They are closed on Thank you. Yes, yes sir. Yes. You deserve that. <laughs> Do you not see that he spilled it? Are you sure you want to give him a job? Yeah. Let's kind of go back real quick to no, the difference you. between you guys and the fact that you are up at 2 o'clock. You're here at 2 o'clock in the morning, even though you may not open till 5. It goes back to the fact that everything that you guys make is made from scratch. I can't say thank you enough. <laughs> and people know, people easy. can tell. 
Well, no, it's not easy. If it was easy, we wouldn't have 24-hour restaurants, and we wouldn't have people that are doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner with a bunch of, you know, GMO products. Mm-hmm. But, but anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, so you okay. don't get to do the night scene anymore, then? Or do you no. Still go out and, no. Nah, that's pushing you know, it. I get out of here about... Three o'clock, fifty percent of the time. The other fifty percent. Three, three a.m. Three p.m. Three oh. p.m. And I'll go home and three? take a nap. So like a twelve. You can right. go home and go to bed, day. and get up at ten, and, and go out and have out, a nightlife. Come, come, come to work at two. You and I are on the same page. Hour and a half nap, and then I I wait for her because she does all the paperwork at the end of the day. I wait for her to get done about six six thirty. She'll come home. We'll go out to eat. And then we're, we're in bed by nine. That kitchen up, yeah. right? No. You don't feel like cooking dinner? <laughs> he never cooked. If he'd have told me he wasn't going to cook well, after we opened this restaurant, yeah. things might have been a little more? different. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me we ask you a question. For when every you meal. guys were first dating, did you always cook for her? I cooked a lot. And then you took that away? Yeah. That's well, <laughs> the first thing I ever made for him, was, um, and I lived in oh. Kansas City, so we had a long distance relationship for the first year. And the first thing I made for him, and I wouldn't tell him what it was going to be, was going to be my meatloaf. Because I make a pretty good meatloaf. That's my favorite. And he said, and it was seriously like our second date, and he just said, if we ever open a restaurant, that's going to be on the menu. And I'm wow. like, okay, good dude, call. whatever. Um, I'm not open. <laughs> and you know, what did I say? My favorite, one of my big time favorites is that meatloaf. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just meatloaf. And it's actually um, also the, the name of a, of a song. Try the band meatloaf. Yeah, yeah. Um, that out of hell meatloaf. Ah, that is oh. it. Yeah, try try ordering that in front of your granddaughter. What you say, Grandma? Nothing. <laughs> On the meatloaf. I, we'll I ride see that most you. of your dishes do have bacon. Yeah. What? Oh yeah. Wow. Bacon. Even the crab cake Benedict. I feel yes. like that's yes. a staple. Yes. Bacon crumbles. Sprinkle yes. over the top. It's a garnish. Um, yeah. yeah. It exists. But it's still there. The crab cake Benedict's <laughs> right. like our biggest seller. It's it's the hollandaise. It's the hand that's whipped. Right. Hollandaise that's made fresh every day. Um, the holiday, like holiday sauce. It is. Yeah. Every day is a holiday. That's right. That, and those are the new shorts. Are they available? Yeah. They are. They happy are. holidays. Right that's happy it. Holidays. I may have to get one when I come this week. Say happy holidays. Yeah. Oh, oh, sweet. Really cute. I love it. Okay, yeah. It's time for me to get a new one. I might have traveled too much already. Okay, now you guys took over as, uh, as, as if I say this right, president, co-president, sponsors for the restaurant and Oh, I became a member of the board of directors. Okay. For the um, Kansas um, Restaurant and Hospitality Association. I just had a had thing for that. I did. A long one. I did. Um, so it's the first time that I'm, I've been asked to be a board of directors of anything, and I feel like I've been in this industry for 10 minutes. But, um, <laughs> 10 minutes I, it's a big years. honor. And um, we went to Topeka, I went to Topeka um, for the legislative session. And it's going to be exciting that I'm actually going to have a voice. And That's nice. I mean, our independent restaurant owner community here in Wichita has been, we are the most supportive group and united. And I think a lot of that, honestly, um, stemmed from Tanya Tandok, uh-huh. who set an amazing example for all of us. Mm-hmm. Um, She was a huge mentor of mine, and she was a big supporter of our diner from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Um, And she just set a precedence of each of, we help each other, and it's just a real supportive community. So I'm looking forward to, I mean, I almost said no to this board of director position. I didn't really need anything else on my plate. But it's a critical time with our industry and what's happening. And so I'm just looking forward to taking the collective voices of my peers and hopefully being able to implement some kind of change or yeah i was going to ask you how you got suckered into that but i can see the motivation now to have a voice so Mm -hmm. because it is a lot of work Mm -hmm. so what is what is happening i mean what's oh just with the minimum wage laws oh yeah and um there's a lot going on on the liquor side of it which i'm not really involved in on for Mm -hmm. liquor laws but it's um a lot of big issues don't ask me specifics yet. I've been on it a week and a half. <laughs> oh. You mean, as, as Fossa and I would say, the poop hasn't hit the pan yet? Exactly. Oh, yeah. lucky for you. Lucky for you. Um, okay, so as far as working with other restaurant owners, mm-hmm. can I ask you something on that? Is that li- limited to locally owned? 
Oh, no, it's not limited to anybody. It's okay. just those that we've kind of befriended and, and made a network. Yeah, but there's a really cool it. vibe of a network, both in Wichita as, as well as Lawrence, because I know a lot mm-hmm. of the owners in Lawrence, yeah. and we've really almost honed in on almost as groovy of, of a vibe mm-hmm. as Lawrence. Do you know how big that is? Well, you know what's really cool is, I mean, if on a Saturday for some reason we find out that we're out of our wheat berry bread, mm-hmm. which is one of our toast breads that yeah. we don't um, make in-house, we know of a couple of restaurants that we can call and say, hey, can we borrow a couple of loaves? And then we pay yeah. them back a couple of loaves. Yeah. So we're there to, you know, and, and, each other and, work and we hire out of the same hiring pool. Right. And so there's times when it's beneficial for us to put our collective heads together. Mm-hmm. And you know, work together exactly. You know that that reminds me of you know the lady that we had on and some of the folks from the food truck um, people. I mean, they all came together as absolutely a community and they worked together to help towards legislation and different issues. Yeah, because there were with. no rules written on how to do a food truck in right. this town. Right, and it's a very viable business, and we I'm glad they got it figured out. I am too. They they're still having a few issues. I, they're they working were, them out though. They're, they're working they're, them out. They're making some progress. You know, this kind of reminds me of something that we had on the show. The guy we had a couple weeks ago talking about businesses that are already in existence and that thing. You remember uh, yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? Mm-hmm. Where you can, like, uh, get a you know, that, grant. That, that, or, that was a... No, remember, we're not going to go poli- talk politics. Well, that... Oh, is that politics? I'm not allowed to talk politics. It's not politics, diner. though. It was like it, a it is, bill. The person, the person that's introducing the bill. Oh, okay. And body, yada, yada. There's a lot of politics <laughs> behind it. Let's not go there. On the non-politics for food trucks, anytime a food truck wants to park here on Monday and Tuesday or after 3 o'clock, oh, park launch. Oh, do they know that? Right. You know, Cake Face, we, did, we put yeah, it out to them that. back when we first opened. Um, it's, I, think, I don't know that I've, like, necessarily invited. I've said it several times on social media. We'll let you know. Lene know. I will, I'm going to repeat it for you because, to Lene. <laughs> yeah, oh, Lord, have mercy. And especially on Tuesdays when we're here working. They'll it love would be that. wonderful <laughs> if we could get some food. <laughs> well, that, you know, we met the guys with the, uh, the funky, uh, funky, funky monkey. monkey. Those guys were great. I mean, there's so many that are really good. Yeah. You know, and they're great people. And I was talking to Lene the other day. And um, she was talking about the, their biggest thing is trying to find locations because right. they right. cannot go in the city ordinance that states that there's just certain areas that they can't be. Oh, yep. really? Okay. Yeah. I haven't followed that. But, it, but know, I don't we're believe this is property, it. Yeah. So this, we, this we it. invite them in. That's right. And, the, and yeah, so we found a couple of uh, locally owned where the businesses actually own the property and they were real excited. Yep. So she's going to love you guys. Oh, yeah. You know what? There's another people. There's going to be more people voting for you guys. <laughs> The For the cutest, cutest couple. couple. I still want to do that. <laughs> I think we should. I think we should yeah. make it an LLS yeah. event. I yes. think we should. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, look. See? Oh, Yay! how cute. <laughs> how adorable is that, you guys? Okay. And I know that I know you guys are closed, but we all kind of obviously brought our own vehicles. And I feel horrible because I'm seeing people. I am too. Out. I was just going to say, like, are people want to come are here. Open? It doesn't matter how you park. On Tuesdays, we park in the most obscure. I mean, we yeah. park parallel to the building. So they know nobody's yeah. here. No, <laughs> but no, but they still come I up bet. and shake the door. No, well, this guy has tried to convince himself not to twice, but he is going to go I ahead know. and do it. It's like, it it you know they're cooking in there Tuesday something. Right, he, I, he's right. convincing Windows. himself he can yeah. smell a it. A giant billboard. Uh, yeah, hello. Okay, <laughs> I said something earlier about you guys do catering. We do. We, um, you know, in the beginning, we did. We accepted anything and everything to try to get our name out there. And then um, this one got a little too run down, and we discovered we couldn't be everything to everybody. What we do really well is breakfast and lunch. Okay. And so um, our focus has really been on corporate breakfasts and lunches, and nice. awesome. some farm uh, pharmaceutical reps. Um, huh. We nice. seem to be in in with them and doctor's offices all over. I mean, they're loving having chicken and noodles and meatloaf, mashed potatoes, green yeah. beans. Right, home cooked meals. Or the breakfast yeah. burritos with yeah. biscuits and gravy yeah. and monkey bread mm-hmm. come right to their uh, office. Everything yeah. you've listed just bread. reminds me of like food of healing. Yeah. It is food of healing. Yeah, very you very much the monkey comfort bread. Man, man you know, I'm telling ever you. Ever since I was chatting with you about bread pudding. I have been drooling oh, you'll thinking love the monkey bread. bread. Girl, I've been like starving. Going. I thought we were going to get to eat. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We it's okay. okay. We're going I'll be to. back. You are going to come back. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah. For sure. Um, so we wanted to talk about the fact that you are doing the catering. And just, if you can, briefly, tell me a little bit about some of the things that you've done for WSU. You've been a huge supporter. 
well. Okay. Who's <laughs> first? <laughs> WSU, I mean, started as, yeah, we um, got a phone call from one of the assistant coaches. Yeah. And it was Christmas of two years ago now. Yeah. yeah. And um, it was pretty exciting. Um, and actually, though, two announcers from ESPN found I us. I remember. The year before, so um, our very first winter, yeah. we were only a few months months old and they joked that it took 10 minutes back then to get your seat and 45 minutes to get your food um and so they found us right first and then when we started feeding the team then it became we also got invited to be a training table restaurant so that we would feed them after practices and Uh they're just you know we don't get a chance to go to very many games but those guys are like my kids they're my i have kids their age and so i want them to eat their green beans right they're athletes you want them to eat healthy this Uh, is brilliant i say you know if you ask your mom to cook you anything for dinner what would you ask her to cook you and we've had, you know, well, we've done jerk chicken wings, and we oh did collard greens, and uh, we've done all kinds but, of different things. you know, things. when we do those things, we, we do them like the mom would do them. Uh-huh. That we is so awesome. We don't take a shortcut to right. do yeah. them. It's but you guys exactly don't take a shortcut right. on anything. Please, I know better. <laughs> I, I, I know better. I mean, we whip our own butter and shred our own cheese. There are no shortcuts. See? Ha! Huh. And I pay $2 more a pound. To bring in that big block of 40 pounds of cheddar cheese. You're kidding me. Think about this. $2 more a pound. Then I get to pay a staff member, and we pay pretty good staff. To shred it. To shred it and break Mm -hmm. it down. But then what we don't have are all the waxes and preservatives that keeps that cheese unnaturally shredded. Mm -hmm. See? And the difference when you melt it on a Mm -hmm. smothered breakfast burrito or on an omelet there's, it's, you can't believe the difference. You can't. Yeah. So. Unbelievable. I did and not I, know that. I know that. Yeah. I did not either. So that's why our prices are also higher. What mm-hmm. people don't understand in the restaurant industry, and again, I'm new to this three years into this, <laughs> to other restaurants' defense, it is so much easier to bring things in that are preserved sure. and heat and serve and all the quick cuts and, I mean... I making it much more economical and there's not a lot of margin in a restaurant to begin with right so anywhere that you can cut a few percentage points would definitely help the only difference is is this is our complete niche we didn't have any we're just a breakfast and lunch serving chicken fried steak and meatloaf and two eggs and bacon just like other restaurants we had to do something different and i guess what was surprising to me is how different and what a niche just having really salt was. and pa- pepper as your secret ingredient and Imagine serving green that. beans that have never been in a can. Uh-huh. I swear there were people in Wichita for. that have never had fresh green beans because they can't figure out why are our green beans so different. And so it's just going back to way, the way your mom and my grandmother yeah. used to cook. Right, the way, the way I'm used to it. And well, it, it costs more to eat healthy. It it, does. If you go to the grocery store. Right. So, I mean, of course, it would make sense that it would have to be factored in. Mm-hmm. I know that we're running a little bit over, but before we have to sign off, can I ask? There was a very nice gentleman. In fact, he waited on me one, one of the times that I was here. Oh. Um, he was a hard parent, yeah. But because he worked here, though. Yeah. He got. Yeah. There, okay. I understand that he doesn't work here anymore, and that's fine. Um, he's been to, he's worked at several restaurants. But... The thing that I think is cool, and this right here should prove to a lot of people that this is a destination location. People mm-hmm. travel from wherever. This gentleman was in serious need of some dental work. Absolutely. Serious health, need, health needed as well. There was different reasons. But a customer came in. His personality completely captivated mm-hmm. the customer. Mm-hmm. And great personality. the customer came up and absolutely <laughs> just said, you know, our server is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Um, don't think I'm crazy. I've done this. I've been very blessed in my life, and um, I'd like to offer your server a complete dental makeover. Mm-hmm. And, and he looked great. Yeah, absolutely. Brian got an entire new smile. Mm-hmm. And, that was um, so cool. And so it's very heart, much been a pay it forward. That's mm-hmm. just right. like the biggest example because that story went viral. I know. But from the beginning, it's been a place like you think of the Starbucks where people pay it forward. Mm-hmm. People have always paid. It, it's just this environment of it's the, it's the giving. Vibe here. It is the vibe, vibe here. Mm-hmm. Somebody, it is the vibe here. And that vibe is because in, of y'all. 
when somebody walks in from like the military yeah. around here and they're wearing their fatigues, mm-hmm. they never pay. Uh-uh. See? <laughs> I know. No I mean, one here will let them. always wants I've to buy been, yeah. I've seen that and I've been there. I know. And it's not us. I mean, we'd love to, right. but no. we can no, but that's but that, that's, that's the type of people that that, mm-hmm. that, are that here. frequent those places. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I can't, I can't say enough. You know. Uh, so if you're in the military, come in and order the brutus. <laughs> <You know, laughs> and that's okay because if I'm here, I'll be more than happy to pay for it without a doubt. Um, God, Timory and, and Patrick, thank you guys so much. Thank you're you guys. Welcome. This thank is you. Yes. Thank you. Um, and 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 not just for this wonderful, fantastic, you know, restaurant experience. The dining is phenomenal, um, but just everything that you bring to the city in more ways well, than you Well, it's can the imagine. most awesome customers. The customers are what are keeping us open. And so we, as long as we have customers coming, we're going to give it our all. Honey, you give it your all and then more. All right, you guys. Well, see you again. Real People, Real Life. Back in a few. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Hi, this is Samantha with Wichita's all new Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. This tax refund season, forget the stress, forget the gimmicks. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. Make it easy on yourself and check us out. We have a great selection of vehicles to choose from. Come see us today at Easy Pay, Wichita's all new Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway, where we make it easy. Find us on the web at easypaywichita.com and on Facebook. Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2 You deserve to feel fantastic. Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday. Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. The King. Credit King Auto Sales. The biggest buy here, pay here in Kansas. At the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. The King knows you worked hard for your tax refund. The King will give you more for it. The King of buy here, pay here. The King of load down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no problems with the King. The King does it better than all the rest. Check us out at GoCreditKing.com. Credit King Auto Sales. 31st Street South and Broadway. Welcome back once again, Real People, Real Life, which is Talk Kansas America, and yes, still in the we're Duda. still enjoying the awesome vibes here at Duda. Yes. With two more guests here, we have Demi ICT. Mm-hmm. Yes. And Rax. <laughs> and Rax. Rax, <laughs> bad, bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I know, right? It is People fun. People come up to go, Rax. Uh, racks on racks, racks on, on racks, racks on racks. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> That's I, awesome. I love it. I love it. So a friend of ours was just on not too long ago, uh, Brandon. Okay, and he does a lot of stuff with Sunflower Community Action. So the the, the radio show that you girls are doing together, mm-hmm. correct, is on KSUN. 
Yes. Which is 95.9. Yes. Thursdays, Sweet. 2 to 3 p.m. Love it. Tuesdays? Thursdays. Thursdays. Okay, Thursdays. I was going to say. I was, my Spanish. I was just practicing. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Don't say it in Spanish because then you'll totally freak out our, our what is You're that? Listening. Our caption. Yeah, our closed our caption. Closed <laughs> caption. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Yeah
what is it, the cause that they're promoting right. for. Right. You know? Okay, how fast? Um, I just happen to know that your show is going to be this Thursday, right? Yes, two okay. to three. There is a, where was that flyer at on an event coming up on February the 9th? Um, I think you girls need to cover this. Okay. 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 Um, let me, thank you. Okay, can you guys help us cover this? It's going to be the Fat Tuesday, All You Can Eat, Cajun Fest. And this sh this particular TV show may have may air after this, okay? okay? But I want you girls to see what you can do to help promote it. It's going to be, again, at Doodah Diner, Fat Tuesday, All You Can Eat, Cajun Fest, Tuesday, February 9th. Again, they're located here at 206 East Kellogg from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And again, they're not normally what? for dinner, kids. Dinner. But for this, they do. And again, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And you can just see, oh, my God, the jambalaya. I've, I've been here for this one. Jambalaya, I'm all over. I'm, I think all so over. can yeah, I count I, on you, girls? You have me on. I, we'll have to split just because. But she'll try to take a little bit longer lunch in between our 9 to 5s. Yeah, I know, I know. Right? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll come in the evening after my 9 to 5. And we'll make sure that we're here. Yeah. Love you. Okay, that's how this works. We got yeah. you. We got, got you. We got everybody covered. Yeah. yeah, and I just love the little love fest that we always have. Yeah. Okay, so I want you guys to check out, of course, you know, Demi? Yes. ICT? Okay, Rax. God, I love that name. <laughs> Rax. <laughs> how are you? Rax. 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 How are you? I'm great. With a name like that, I I'm know. always <laughs> Although, yeah, Obviously, it's always awesome because I'm Rax. All right, so check them out, girls. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Awesome. Power all the way. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen. I know. Yeah, that's so sorry we're gone. You guys right in. So, Don, so Don and I are like, yeah, sure. Yeah, girl, yeah. <laughs> go, girl, power. Go, yeah, yeah, power. Yeah, go yeah, and keep yeah. on going. Yeah. 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 You know, only stuff like this can really happen. At one place, Doodah Diner. Right. Man, yeah. you know. Bringing people together. Bringing Doodah. people together. No, I really do believe that, though. This place has got that, like. I'm telling you. This is family vibe. vibe well, man. the whole thing with the community the, the community tables, I was like, this is great. It's amazing. I'm the kind of person that would sit down and be like, But hey. I do take up my elbow room, so I need <laughs> my elbow Oh, I signed it, sure. Can I get you some more coffee? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, well, sir. Thank you more coffee. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, thank you, here. thank you. <laughs> All right, yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, God. Watch him. I know. Oh, I know. Uh, this serious. is a bad idea. So, to really, yeah. I mean, don't forget, Doodah Diner thank is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, but, you know... Wednesday through Thank Sunday, you. you're not going to find a better place anywhere. Right, right. That's right. I promise you. Food of Healing, Doodah Diner. Yes. Yeah, Doodah Diner, and of course, Demi and Rax. Demi ICT and Demi ICT. Demi ICT. Woo! And Rax. And thank you for helping my friends. Um, That's all about it, man. Let's all help each oh, other. Oh, we'll be here. Yeah. Bye, Mom. Mom. And keep it That's groovy. Right. Okay. Bye, Julius. I love you, Dad. I love you, Sierra. I love you, Maddie. Everybody, quick. I love you, I love you, I love you. Real people, real lies. See you next time. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour, Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. Hi, this is Samantha with Wichita's all-new Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. This tax refund season, forget the stress, forget the gimmicks. Bad credit, no credit, no worries. Make it easy on yourself and check us out. We have a great selection of vehicles to choose from. Come see us today at Easy Pay, Wichita's all new Easy Pay Auto Sales, 2305 South Broadway, where we make it easy. Find us on the web at easypaywichita.com and on Facebook. Easy Pay Auto Sales at 2305 South Broadway. When you look good, you feel amazing. Let 2 Envy Me help you. Straight Wavy Curls Volume, our 100% virgin hair is the best in the world. The perfect professional business look, the perfect fun lady social look, the perfect beautiful night on the town. You can be all of those and more with real hair extensions from 2 Envy Me. 6160 East 21st Street North, Suite 220. Buy online with free shipping at 2envyme.com. You deserve to feel fantastic.
Lemon Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. The King. Credit King Auto Sales. The biggest buy here, pay here in Kansas. At the King's Corner, 31st Street South and Broadway. The King knows you worked hard for your tax refund. The King will give you more for it. The King of buy here, pay here. The King of load down payments. Bad credit, no credit, no problems with the King. The King does it better than all the rest. Check us out at GoCreditKing.com. Credit King Auto Sales. 31st Street South and Broadway. 